In this video, we'll balance the equation for PB plus HNO3, and this is dilute HNO3, lead plus nitric acid. So we have our dilute nitric acid reacting with the lead. If this was concentrated, you'd get different products here. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one lead, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygens. Normally, if I have a polyatomic ion that's the same on both sides, I don't split it up. But this nitrogen out here, that complicates things. So I'm going to split these all up here. Product side, one lead, two hydrogens, one nitrogen here, two times the one here. So I have three nitrogen atoms. And then the oxygens, that's some work. Two times three is six, plus two plus one. So I have nine oxygen atoms. Okay, I'd like to leave the oxygen until last. Let's see what we can do. Why don't we take and multiply the nitric acid by three? We'll just balance the nitrogens. So now we have one times three, that'll give us three hydrogen atoms. And then one times three, that balances the nitrogens. And then the oxygens, three times three, that gives us nine. Hmm. At this point, everything looks pretty good except the hydrogen. So how to get the hydrogens balanced here? So I need to get an even number of hydrogen atoms over here on this side of the equation. I could do that by changing this to 4 or doubling it to 6. Let's just try to change it to 4. I think that'll make it easy to balance the hydrogens. Not sure what'll happen with the oxygens. So let's change this to 4. And then we need to update all of this information here. So we have 1 times 4, that gives us 4. That'll be easy to fix then. 1 times 4 here, that gives us 4 nitrogens. And then 3 times 4, we have 12 oxygen atoms. Let's just fix the hydrogen here. If I put a 2 in front of the water, 2 times 2, that'll give me 4. Now, with the nitrogens, I could put a 2 in front of the NO2. Now I'd have 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. That would give me 4. Let's do that. So I have 2 times 1. There's 2 nitrogens there, plus 1 times the 2. That's 2. That equals 4. I need to update the oxygens, though. So I have 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 2. That's 4, plus 1 times 2. That's 2. And actually, that adds up to 12, and we've balanced this equation. So it's a little bit complicated because we have all these different oxygens here. I think the trick is we need to get this to an even number so we could balance the hydrogens, and then we worked over here to finish balancing the equation. This is Dr. B with the somewhat challenging equation of PB plus HNO3. That's dilute nitric acid. Thanks for watching.